soul on the dotted line. I'd like to thank my guests for being here live from my bedroom before we turn over to my kids' show. They are uh, their own show. There I have three kids. Uh, they're all boys. The oldest is 10, the uh, second oldest is 8, and the, and the youngest, who is my third oldest, is 6. And we start with the 6-year-old, and he's going to put on his headset, and he's going to come up to the microphone, he's going to say hello, and he's going to ask his questions. So here we are, live from my bedroom, kids' show. Go ahead, Kanan. Hello. Hello. What's your favorite color? Lisa? Hi. I can't, I can't hear you very your well. Your favorite color. What's your favorite color? My favorite color? Oh my god, oh my god. Um, um. She doesn't know? Okay, you know what? Because it changes. It changes. It used to be, it used to be red, then it was green. Now my favorite color? Yellow. Ooh. Did that's, you get that? That's a What's bold choice. Number? What's your favorite number? Ooh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna answer this one. My favorite number is 12. That was my soccer number for three years. And even though I hated soccer uh with a passion i loved running around a field with a 12 on my back yeah, what was that benjamin yeah my favorite number is 12 too no way you're kidding me why do you like the number 12 i just like it i when i went swimming for my swimming classes i usually the only one of them the only thing that was open was number 12 and then for baseball i had a number 12 on my back and i just like it it's a cool number yeah. It's a lucky number. Yeah. I think so. What's your favorite song? Favorite, favorite song? What? song? Favorite song. Oh, wow. Oh, Lisa? Yeah. No, this is hard because That's a hard I always. One. It's really hard because I always make fun of Steve for like liking the wrong songs. He likes bad songs. But the, but then but then the pressure's on me to come up with a good song. Um, my favorite song. How about your favorite song right oh. now? Oh. Okay, my favorite song right now is by a band that existed many, many hundreds of years ago, and they were called <laughs> Wings. Nice. Ooh, and nice. it's called Silly Love Songs. Mm, and maybe nice. you've heard it on the radio. It's Paul McCartney, and he goes, I love you. And that's all the it's rights on that song we can own. All right, there you yeah, go. That's it. That's I don't want to be sued by the Michael Jackson people. Can we, did he just buy the Beatles and no wings? I can't what? remember. Oh, yeah. We're going to be your sued favorite by movie? the ghost of Michael Jackson now. Well, no, his... Again. <laughs> Wait, I'm pretty <laughs> sure Again. people own his stuff. <laughs> pretty sure of it. Go ahead there, Caneline. What's your favorite movie? Ooh, I'm going to answer this one. I'm going to say my favorite movie is uh, a Coen Brothers movie called Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Oh, that's a good I one. just absolutely love it. Good one. That's a great movie. Yeah, yeah. and do you have a, one last question there, Caneline? How old are you? <laughs> well, Lisa's not going to answer that because she's very old. Um, <laughs> I am 43 years old. And I bet I'm younger than Steve by a lot. Yeah, by like minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you right. know what? Let, let, me, let me answer that uh, question like this. I still get carded when I try and get into a, a club. The club, they're the like, club. "Can I see your ID, please?" Right. And that's because I have a good skin regimen. She has a good yes, and of course, a woman never reveals her age, especially when she's forty. So we're not going to say. <laughs> wow, I'll take selling out for four hundred, Alex. <laughs> All right, I didn't sell out; I bought in. Okay, so here we are. Moving forward with my second oldest son, Samson. Samson, eat the microphone and tell me how he is. Yo. Yo, there yo, it is. Samson. Yeah, give us yo, a question. Yo, yo, yo. Okay. What's your favorite thing to do? Ooh, Lisa. My favorite thing to do Again, is Again, it's a kid it's a kid show with kids. <laughs> Other than vengeance, what's your vengeance. favorite thing to do? Mostly that's seeking not, vengeance on her enemies. That's, that's not an action. That's not a verb. I would never say vengeance. My favorite thing to do is to play street hockey. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Oh, I didn't expect that at all. Kids, did you expect that at all ever? Yes. Nice. No. <laughs> <laughs> I started Girls a Girls street... can't play hockey. <laughs> I played a street hockey. I, I started a street hockey group uh, about uh, almost eight years ago. And it's all just our friends. And we bring our hockey sticks and we run. We don't, we don't use ice skates. We run. So it's kind of like soccer. And we run and we use a little orange ball. And um, we have girls and boys play together. And it's really, really fun. Like sometimes we'll play for three hours at a time, sometimes even four hours. But then afterwards, we're really, really tired. 
were you just explaining street hockey? <laughs> I don't know what you guys play over there in America. <laughs> we're in Canada. We're across the road from you. We're in, in Mississauga. Toronto, we're lady. Port Credit. You don't have to do your homework, but we're in Port Credit. Uh, the, 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 oh. out there, the out there with Melissa DeMarco's show is at uh, in the beaches. That's where it we're. Uh, that's where we're from. I Always assumed. looking for editors. Can I throw that out there? Yeah. All right. I assumed I assumed you were in L.A. with Steve. No, I, as I think I said, I've never been to California. It's still part of my list of never being. Don't worry about listening skills. You're not an actor. Don't worry about it. You know the <laughs> listening. You you you're in a cast with Steve. Listening skills. No, you should just be fighting. <laughs> you, Lisa. Can I the most can I invoke the mommy of... brain thing again? Yes, oh, yeah. please. Well, you get, oh, you, you get got that from now time. until you die. Sadly, that does not go away. You think it yeah. does? The more children you have, I I, I like you, Lisa. The one. No, I understand, but it, it's it's not. You have two. Okay, so you started a hundred percent smarter than every guy in the room. Then you had a baby. Now everyone's smarter than you somehow, and you don't know why. And then you had another kid. And now you're like, I don't know anything anymore. Yeah. And you now you hate yourself, but you're awesome. Because recognize your priorities are out of, are, are, are in whack. Your child's <laughs> well-being and where they are at all moments and how they're eating and what they're going to eat, who their friends are, when they're going to school, do I have socks for them? <laughs> you know, you're having thoughts that aren't even in the caliber of a man. We get to where we were. You're not wearing socks? <laughs> we don't notice until we got there with our child. Like yeah. I'm the only non-parent here, but I'm getting the sense that it's mostly about socks when it comes to <laughs> rearing children. <laughs> Is that, I actually, am I correct in that assumption? You're correct because I just came up with a baby hack. Would you guys like to hear it? Please. Yeah. Yeah. When you change a baby's <laughs> diaper to keep the baby from smacking his fingers into the poop, you put the socks on his hands. Ooh. You put the good. socks on his hands, and then he goes, why are there socks on my hands? Are my hands feet? And while he's confused, <laughs> you change his diaper, and it's all good. That's nice. That's also, if they're act. scratching themselves, you can put those on their hands so they don't scratch their own face. Yeah. Also, way. NyQuil would work just as well. <laughs> <laughs> a rubber mallet. Wow. Mm -hmm. you got a lot of options. An anvil. Uh, where are An we going anvil. with this? That was crazy. Anvil. Yeah. We live in an anvil-based economy, so I think that's probably the, the, the go-to. All right, I think you're still getting questions from my, oh, my sorry, second. Guys. No, yeah. I don't think you should apologize, but that's how it goes. We veered. And here we are, back to it. What's your favorite thing to eat? Uh, Lisa? What's crab your favorite legs. Thing? Yeah, crab legs. Nice. I'm going to say sushi. Sushi and crab legs. Things you can't yeah, have at. I'll, I'll take what you can't have for your bar mitzvah. Pardon? I said we're both terrible Jews. Clearly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But don't worry about it. It's only the dietary part. <laughs> right, yeah. And, and all the other God-fearing stuff were great. Yeah, yeah. Out of the 613 laws, that's only 287 of them. I uh, I adhere strictly to all the even-numbered commandments. <laughs> that's funnier than anything I've ever heard. So uh, we're, <laughs> we're, we're going with seafood. The ladies like the you seafood. You know what? Your laugh didn't reflect that. <laughs> <laughs> Mine did. I laughed for him at my hilariousness, so it all evened out. Steve, you had a I'm, great I'm filling laugh. his holes, remember? Yes. <laughs> uh, yes, with silly, nonverbal. Right. Yeah, yeah. We'll keep yeah, that we'll going. That was great. That I'm very excited for that. That was awesome. So now – get around all of the kids' stuff, do you just – is it just all double entendres for you, Adam? Uh, in life and in general? Yes. I would say that, yeah. that works out pretty well. And um, – yeah, I would say in general. I mean, that's the whole thing. You get to use puns and just kind of keep it above the waist. And when it isn't, <laughs> the, the kids recognize it. Um, it's, a, it's a conversation. The truth of the matter is is that I'm a, a full-time dad and a part-time worker. If, it doesn't matter if I'm writing or, or just performing on stage or directing mm. or whatever. That is my part-time thought. My brain and my heart and my life is with my kids. Aww, so, well, as, as, as you'll know sooner than later, Steve, I don't know what I was doing with my life before I had my children. And now that I'm with them... I'd rather just we're in the room having a good time. I, I, they're listening. They're being a part of it, and we have three cats, and now the cats are now part of it. <laughs> so I'm just trying to keep the cats away from the wires because I've already lost you twice. So let's, oh, um, yeah. Let, yeah, yeah, just gonna keep it rocking. So we asked you what they like to eat, and we got that. We they love to eat the seafood. Oh, hold on. Uh oh, Sammy has one more question. Here it comes. Boom, do it. What's your favorite sport? Ooh. Ooh, I think we, Lisa, you're probably going to say hockey, right? Street hockey! Yeah. yeah. I'm going to say hockey, too, because I'm still Canadian. Oh, okay. He's still Canadian. But you have your green card. Are you paying taxes in two places? Uh, I am. Oh, so he's Although both. Although I may be a little deficient in paying taxes in one of those two countries. <laughs> <laughs> and it isn't America. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
Okay, we'll welcome you back sooner than later. All right, so now we have our oldest. Oh, by the way, you can come back anytime you want. Uh, now my oldest, Benjamin, he has his own show called Magic with Ben, which is on the Glass Ceiling Productions that you can see here on Facebook. And here he is with his questions. Benjamin, take it away. Okay, this is for both of you. But first, okay, um, so you guys have your own podcast. You better don't. Is that right? Yeah. And uh, Stephen, you're... TV comedy writer, a two-time Canadian comedy award winner, a writer for the um, Huffington Post, and Lisa, you're a, you produced, edited, and hosted a special at Fashion Television, produ- and produced and hosted a comedy and music um, community radio show. So what up, guys? <laughs> That's the I have best never question been so I've flattered in my life. Yes, my my resume has never sounded that good. Thanks, Benjamin. Uh, and I love the ramp up to uh, the "What Up Guys" question, which is the little tag at the end, and that's the best. And before <laughs> I, I ask "What up" of anybody in the future, I'm going to recite to them their entire the bio. Yeah, and then end with "What up." <laughs> my answer to that is not much, bro. <laughs> This and that. Yeah. Oh, I wish I said that. Yeah. What up with you? What up with you, Benjamin? Yeah. I'm standing at We're turning the tables, Benjamin. What up with you? I don't think I you're love expecting magic. that. I love magic. I love it. So what's up? Well, I, I do magic on my own show. I think I already did four of them, but I haven't aired them yet. Only one. That's hey, Benjamin. Fantastic. Yeah, we call, that in, we call that in the can, Benjamin. They're, They're in, in the can. can. You have one that's on air and three that are in the can. And Benjamin. Benjamin. Do you know how to do you know how to like make a uh, fire come out of your finger? No. Unless okay, cuz I just googled that because I want to do that for my Halloween costume. I want to be lightning for Halloween. And I googled how do you make fire come out of your finger? And apparently, I've forgotten what it's called, but there's like a piece of paper that you can sort of rip. It's flash paper. And- Flash paper. Yeah, that's it. Fla- yeah. Flash paper, yeah, and it flash paper. and it turns into fire just it for a second, yeah, and then it flash disappears. Paper. Yeah, it's flash paper. You can get that. But the turning your fire is a is a is a, as a as a video editor. That's a, a a TV trick. You need a mirror that's bent on its side, and it's a trick. Like you you couldn't do it in real life. The flash paper you can do in real life, but uh, yeah. the actual making a floating flame and have your finger on fire. It's a, oh, a, a it's it's yeah. what you have is the, the the it's reflecting someone off camera is reflecting into a forty five degree um, not a mirror but a piece of glass. You're gonna get kicked out of the magicians union for revealing this trick, by the way. <laughs> You're um, in trouble. I believe I saw it on YouTube. So let's uh, go to YouTube and kick these people out. Uh, let's make it not for me. Oh, Benjamin's got something else to say. What's that be? Um, the other way to do that is just hide a match. I mean. Uh, a lighter behind your finger there. It's easier. Oh, that's you neat. Know what? You're totally right. But the thing is, Benjamin, that I'm very clumsy. And I'm worried that if it's a lighter and I have to hold it like for more than a second, that I can, I'll actually burn my finger. <laughs> Mommy brain. And uh, maybe my costume as well. And then I'll be completely on fire. And that would make my costume awesome. Mm-hmm. But it would hurt me. So So it's a, it's a trade-off. Benjamin, I want to tell you this. Uh, I live in, in Hollywood. And a block away from where I live is a place called the Magic Castle. And if you haven't heard of it, uh, basically it's a castle and it's run, and I'm not kidding, it's run by magicians. And you cannot be invited into this castle and you can eat there and do all sorts of cool stuff unless you are friends with a magician who has a membership at this castle. It's a crazy place and I see it out of my kitchen window every day. And I curse the fact that I don't know a magician uh, because I cannot get into this castle and it's been driving me crazy. So uh, if there's any incentive for your dad uh, to take you guys to Los Angeles, no. I think this might be it. No, no, not even. No, <laughs> no not going to happen. Not even a little. And, and to go back to you, Lisa, because I like you. You sound like a very nice lady. Um, no flash paper for you. You will catch yourself on fire. I mean, oh, yeah. come on. <laughs> a lighter is a problem. The flash paper is something that will come out of your hand, and now it's a flame out of oh, your yeah. hand. And 
the, the thing I like about flash paper is it seems to only last two seconds and then it's out. How long do you think it takes to take your your, your toilet paper outfit and make it? You know, anyway, all right. Yeah. I, you I know, I personally, I think self-immolation would look good on you, Lisa. That's I, I like I like both of you too much, and I don't want either of you to hurt each other or yourselves because we are part sure. of the comedy world. And uh, Steve, I know you got, you got lots going on. You're not just a comedian, or I would have said, "How are you?" And, and do you have a therapist? I mean, <laughs> but, but you you seem to always be grounded. So, are you good? You in a good place? Uh, I'm in a you know as as good as anybody can be in okay. this vocation. Okay, no, uh, fair enough. But yeah. I've been sideswiped by the in the last year about people in our vocation that you didn't think was a problem, and there was a problem. Oh, I see. Yeah, we look. Every everybody in our industry is messed up in one way or another. Yes, no question. So I'm asking you a, a direct question because right. Uh, yeah, uh, I used to have a therapist for years. Right, and so you found yourself in a better place using the coping skills that they taught you, and now absolutely. you're absolutely okay. So, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And Lisa, yourself, uh, or do you find yourself? Uh, this is your out. This is uh, the Palmcast. Your 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 online content. Your new f bomb uh, with the mom <laughs> thing is all about. This is your um, cathartic, uh, therapeutic, get it out of me beat. Not this is how I'm living my life rant. Yeah, I mean it's very cathartic. Um, I also like to kick rocks really hard. No, they ever coming. Yeah, kick rocks because. Uh... <laughs> Rocks wow. are such jerks. Yeah. They're smug. They're very smug. They're just sitting there like, what? They need to be taken down a few pegs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. I think you could talk about anything. So the topic list is over and done with. You guys are better than ever. Thank you very much for your time. We're really live in my bedroom. Uh, you are in Toronto, so you can reach out to Lisa. She has her Facebook page and her two her two casts coming up. And Stephen, he's in he's in L.A., so I'm not too sure how you're going to see him unless you want to take him. And you are a magician, so you can take him to the Magic Castle. Please. I would love that. Please call Stephen. Get him to the Magic Castle. Thank you very much. I'll say goodbye to you off off the camera or off the off the microphone rather. And hey. what, do you want to say something? See you later. Bye, guys. See you later. Bye. Yes, I signed my soul on the dotted line.